you know, early in the season, we were relying on Lamar a lot, which you can go back to whether it's the Jefferson kid that Arkansas had or go all the way to Matt Jones, for God's sakes. When you have an athletic quarterback in the red zone, it gives you an extra tool. You don't have to go wildcat. You've got the wildcat quarterback that adds an extra element. That's a part we were using that way too much early in the year. We went to London and played the Titans there, and we kicked the field goals. Like, we got down there. We used Lamar too much. And coaches like, guys, like, that isn't good enough. That can't be us when we just rely on Lamar. We got we to be better than that. And we were doing some of these other things. Well, what's our job? Our job is to fix it. Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to continue on the subject of Todd Munkin when he was interviewed and on an Arkansas podcast. And this one we're going to focus on the statement he made that kind of sent the little buzz around the flop. Uh, he talked about, well, you saw it in the opening. You know, Coach Harbaugh told him that using Lamar in the red zone was a little bit too much. And so, well, he was using him a little bit too much. So it got me to thinking, well, let me go look at games one through six and see how much he was actually using Lamar and if it really was too much. And so what I did was I went and charted every red zone play from week one through six. Now, let me give you the parameters of, of what I got and, you know, my the result of my research. So the play had to start from the 20-yard line in. took for me to count it. It also had to be an official play. So if there was a penalty or something where it said no play, I didn't count it. If the play started on the 19, then it was a penalty and bagged it up to the 24, that next play didn't count. So only plays from the 20 in and only plays that actually counted. If it was a penalty on it, I threw it out. Now, some penalties do get accepted, and those plays count. I counted those if they were in there, but if it said no play, didn't count. All right, so here are the, the results of me going to that. Week one, and keep in mind, it's, it's about overusing Lamar. Week one versus Houston. There were no plays where Lamar ran the ball. So, you know, I was thinking that, that every week, you know, just because, you know, it's a long season, you don't remember all the plays, but I was thinking every week we use Lamar Bunch in the red zone. Week one versus Houston, no plays where Lamar ran the ball. Now, there were opportunities where he could have kept it on, like, um, some jet sweeps or some some counter reads. I mean, not some counter reads, some, um, what is it, power reads, but he ended up giving the ball off to the the, the guy running the outside zone, which was A. Flowers in a couple of cases. <laughs> Week two, one play, counter read, and he kept it. Just one. In the red zone. Keep in mind, we're in the red zone now. So, really, in two weeks, I don't see a lot. There's not a lot of over usage for Lamar. Now, there's some, some BS plays in here, but not a lot of over usage for Lamar. Week three, now we're starting to see Lamar use a lot. You got. Uh, a veerish type look where they read the one tech and Lamar ran it for eight yard TD. Then the next drive, they that we were empty, we ran draw for a 10 yard TD. And flip my page here, and that was all for week three. So, week two, week three, we only used him two times, he only ran about two times. Now, week four is a different story. Cleveland, one of the better defenses in the league. This are these are four straight plays inside the red zone. Quarterback counter for 10 yards. He got a touchdown. The next play, next, the very next time we got in the red zone, quarterback sweep for one yard. The very next play, inside zone to Gus, but Gus turned out to be a lead blocker. Uh, two yard run for Lamar. The very next time we got in the red zone, quarterback draw. So that's four straight plays of Lamar running the ball in the red zone. That could be the beginning of Coach Harbaugh thinking, hey, hey this might be a little bit too much. That's in week four versus Cleveland. Now we go to week five. Nothing. Lamar don't run the ball at all in the red zone. At all. You know, they have some passes. They have some, some regular runs. But there's nothing that he does, you know, in week five to, to actually run the ball. Now, and we lose that game two versus um, the Steelers, if I'm not mistaken. Now we get to week six in London, which is the, the bulk of what the, the podcast was talking about. I'm going to talk about each play real quick. 
and just give you every red zone play and whether Lamar was part of it or not. First red zone play was a toss crack to Gus for five yards. Next one, pin and pull to Justice Hill for one yard, then an incomplete pass to Odell Beckham. That was our first red zone possession. Uh, I don't think we scored because I didn't write TD down. All right, second red zone possession. A scramble by Lamar for eight yards. So obviously that's Lamar there. Zone read by, that Lamar kept for seven yards. That's two straight plays of Lamar running the ball. They ran power to Gus for three yards, inside zone to Gus for two yards, and we come right back on the same red zone possession, run empty, according quarterback power for a minus four yards. So out of the five plays on this red zone possession, three of them Lamar run the ball. And I don't think we score. We don't score. We did score in that possession. We ended up kicking a field goal. I come back with the next red zone possession. We, we run a bootleg, and we end up throwing a little short pass to uh, Pat Ricard in the flats for three yards. Then we had a play-action scramble pass to, um, uh, who was that? Flowers. Now, Lamar was about to run, but Flowers came uncovered at the last minute, and he dropped it off to Flowers for a touchdown. So maybe that was going to some usage coming, but it wasn't, design, it wasn't a design run. And he didn't have to scramble. So he ended up rolling out and was about to run. And Zay Flowers shook loose at the last minute. And he dropped it off to him. All right, so that's a touchdown there. Next red zone position. Toss crack to Justice Hill for one yard. Now, this is where I think the tipping point happened with um, Coach Harbaugh coming, having to tell Todd to, uh, hey, we got to do something different. The next four out of five plays. A scramble by Lamar for, eight, for six yards. The next play. Scramble by Lamar for three yards. Very next play. Keep in mind, you run, your quarterback, even though they were pass plays, he had to run. A draw for six yards. Then they ran power to Gus for one yard. The very next play. Scramble by Lamar for, for, for a yard. Field goal. So on that next position, they had one, two, three, four, five, six plays in the red zone. Four of them were runs by Lamar. Then we kicked the field goal. Then the last red zone, last red zone play of that game was a tush push by um, Mark Andrews that I think we got, but the referees say we didn't. I think we ended up kicking a field goal or a punt right after that. But that was the last red zone uh, play in that game. So I can see, especially after that 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 second to the last red zone position, where it's four out of your six plays, your quarterback running the ball. I can see your head coach leaning over, and like I say all the time. Do something different. It don't, it don't take much. It don't have to be a subtle jab. It don't have to be, ah, rah, rah, rah. it's just, simple. hey, we got to do something different. And like he said, he came to him like, look, we got to be better. And they changed it. Now, the next the next progression of this for me is to go look at what they did differently after week six and see if I could find a correlation to pre-week six and post-week six. And I just really want to show you and kind of give some context into what actually happened during that Tennessee game. Like I said, those four plays, a scramble by Lamar for six yards, another scramble by Lamar for three yards. They threw in a power to Gus for one yard. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. A scramble by Lamar for six yards, another scramble by Lamar for three yards. Then they called a draw for Lamar that got six yards. Then they ran the power to Gus. Then Lamar scrambled again for a yard, and we still end up kicking a field goal. So, yeah, you don't, you don't want your quarterback to have uses like that in the red zone. You don't, no matter who he is. No, no matter if he's 230, 215, or 205. So, again, like I said, the second part of this is the after week six to see what we changed as far as in the red zone. And I plan on bringing that to you in the coming weeks. So, if you're still here, please hit that like button. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. And um, hit that bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop, man. I appreciate you for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And remember the motto. I've been drop I haven't said it in a while. It's FTMF. It's film, damn more film. Because the film don't lie. Peace and love, man. I'll see y'all in the next one.